Let me get right to the point. If a group of um, white suburbanites drove into the inner city of Chicago, kidnapped a black individual, drove him back to the suburbs, tied him up, tortured him, cut him, forced him to drink from a toilet, forced him to denounce Barack Obama, forced him to uh, denounce black people. And then they released him back to his old neighborhood. And they videoed the whole thing on Facebook Live. All hell would break loose. All hell would break loose. There would be rioting on a scale that would make Ferguson and Baltimore look ridiculous. You would have the you would have the NAACP, you would have the Urban League, you would have Black Lives Matter, you would have the President of the United States, you would have the Attorney General, you it, it, all hell would break loose. This is an indication of just how severe the double standard is. This is a this is a, a an example of how the only standards the left have are double standards. And it's hard to even to talk about this because of the cruelty that took place here. It, 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 you have a mentally disabled individual who happened to be American of European descent. You had black people who lived in Chicago, drove to the suburb and kidnapped him, brought him back to the hood and then tortured him, did all of those things. Force him to drink from a toilet, cut him with the knife, cut his hair down to the scalp. He's bleeding. Force him to denounce white people, force for him, force him to denounce Trump. And he was mentally disabled. See, cruelty on that level to me, it, I, I can't, I can't, it, it's hard for me to process and I get angry and, and I, 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 cause I don't, I, just, I don't understand, it's evil. It's evil. So we're, we're living in a culture, we, we don't recognize evil. We don't recognize the demonic. We don't, we don't recognize that. Okay, fine. But we have allowed this sickness, we have allowed this, this double standard, we have allowed this racism just to run rampant, and now we are seeing it flowering across the country because now people have an excuse because the mainstream media has given them the excuse because the, the progressive movement, the left, has given them an excuse. And they're already trying to dismiss the actions of these four jackals in Chicago. They're already making excuses. They're already backing away. Oh, we're, we're going to investigate to see if, if this is a, a hate crime. This, this, is, this is very similar to when a, a Islamic terrorist will blow somebody up or kill somebody yelling Alu Akbar and we have the left that's confused of whether or not this is uh, Islamic terror. We, we, we don't know if this were a terrorist. We have to investigate it. They're going to investigate this 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 incident in Chicago. There's a sickness in the black community, my friends. And it's been there for a while. Remember Tawana, Tawana Brawley case. This is Al Sharpton. Oh, yeah, uh, these four police officers, uh, uh, they kidnapped me and they scrawled the N-word on my chest and feces. It was a lie. But the whole city, the whole country was up in arms over this racist action. It was a lie. Remember the Duke rape case that that wild the nation. It was a lie. Hands up. Don't shoot. It's a lie. But look at what black people look. what Look what gets them, you know, into the streets. Look what gets them protesting. Look, look at what gets them burning down their own cities. Lies, lies. And then when something does happen, well, you know, you, you're spent now. And then people get upset because they say, well, why don't why don't white Americans take our our plight seriously? Why don't they take all of this abuse seriously? Because you don't take when you have so many uh, 
agitators, when you have community organizers, when you have black ministers, when you have black politicians that are not willing to address what happened in Chicago, then we can't hear you. Notice I said, we can't hear you when you're talking about something that you think is legitimate. Oh, black, uh, some white uh, a racist burned down the church and, and, and scrawled Trump on the side. That was a lie. Oh, uh, 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 white men are accosting uh, Islamic women and ripping off their head. It's a lie. The left traffics in lies. And then it motivates disturbed people to act it out. We have Hollywood actors that are saying that, that black people are being accosted in Donald Trump's name. That's ass backwards. That's a lie. White people are being attacked because of the assumption that they voted for Trump. It's a lie. That's the reality. But only the lies make it on the legacy media. There's a sickness in the black community and it's spreading all across the nation. And it is time for people to put their foot down on this kind of, this time, this cannot be allowed to stand. And the double standard is nauseating. White guilt is the reason why there is not a more reaction to the to the barbaric action that took place in Chicago. And black race holding is why they're allowed to get away with it. But if this is not dealt with, if people do not step up, it's going to rip this country apart. This sickness, this ism is going to rip our country apart. I'm praying for all involved, but especially that young man. I'm praying for him. No one, there, there, there is no, there is not a situation where this is, this, there, there's no way, this is wrong on every level, wrong on every level. This is a further illustration of the complete, utter breakdown of the family in the black community. How else do you explain this? It has to stop. It has to be called out. Because if we don't call out, if we don't call this out, it's just going to continue and it's going to get worse. No more double standards. We treat everyone the equal equally. We treat, we treat. I want to see more Americans of African descent speaking out against what happened in Chicago. If you don't, then shut the hell up on your Black Lives Matters bullshiggity.